Hi, welcome to an Uenta video tutorial and now it's the new version 2021. I've already imported the start step file which you can download from my GrabKit account. But I can't use that geometry directly. So I have to make sketches. So let's start for a sketch on the YZ plane and I want to project that geometry into my sketch and I activate it in the options that these geometry will be for construction only. So that should have happened. Finish that sketch. Do another sketch on the same plane. Again project this geometry and finish that sketch. And the last sketch should be right on this plane. And again, project geometry. And it should be standard, so I will select it and switch it to standard. Hopefully that worked, we will see. Let's hide the repaired geometry. Yes, it did. Now, in order to use these I will have to draw a sketch. I can use this one, but I can't use these because for the first chamber I need edges to set the points for the variable radius. So let's go to sketch one and let's make a circle. So that's just for reference. This should be 75, yes. then no 76 it should be 76 sorry 76 then i need a rectangle and let's see this point should be aligned with this one and of course it was the other way around and I didn't notice it. So why? Sort of that. Oh, there it is. Like this. And that dimension. No. That dimension should be 65. Let's trim. Of course, I lost that dimension and that distance. Of course, this should be 32.5, yes. And that should be 36, 38, and this should be 38 as well. And this should be aligned, and that is aligned. Okay, now I need fillets, and those fillets should be 15 here. Over there, down here, and over there. I need that sketch to get the edges for my first chamber. Now, I could do it with an extrude and then add a rule surface, or I could, yeah, I have to do it with that because. A sweep I would need another sketch for a sweep so let's make an extrude make it a surface make it the other way around like this and I could of course do it with a taper so in this direction I could go for 25 and sorry the taper should be 5 degrees, oh god. 
cut the other way around like this and OK. Let's make it non-translucent. So you see I've got those edges and I need those edges. Then for another extrude with this one, sorry, still selected, so go for a new extrude. Now it's there, make it symmetric, make it 80. And again, make it non-translucent. Let's add a fillet of 5 millimeter up there. Confirm. Now I can trim, so go for a trim. I want to trim with this tool. This should go away. Apply. Then I want to use this as tool and that side should go away. Like this. Now stitch it together. This one and that one. Apply. Done. Make it. Now I can go for a fillet with variable radius. So go for fillet, variable, select the complete edge chain. Now add points. So let's start here and use. Make sure it's green, that would be that endpoint, this endpoint, 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 and they all should have one millimeter. Now I want to add points. here at the middle, the midpoint of that short edge here, and the same over there, and should be 0 0.5 the position, that's okay, and the radius should be 10 and 10. Confirm, and I'm done with the first chamber. So let's hide that surface body and see that's this one and that's that one. Okay, I will need another extrude and I need that sketch and I don't need that one anyway. Well, I need it, sorry, I need it, but I can use it without drawing a new one, so let's go here, like this, and make it standard. Finish that sketch, and I will need sketch 1, and I will need sketch 3, so bring them back. Okay. I want to make an extrude with this profile here and it should be of course a surface like this, make it symmetric, make it 80. Okay, let's add a fillet, 5 millimeters, okay, and now I need another extrude with this one, again a surface. Maybe 50 should do. Now I want to trim with this tool. This should be removed. And confirm. Let's hide surface 5 and make this one not translucent. I could hide sketch 3. And now I need, or I want to use another extrude. Let's go for another extrude. Make it a surface the other way around. 
maybe 20 should do and again a taper angle of 5 degrees no fun. let's go for god and yes now let's hide sketch one and make this one also not translucent and now i want to use a love because i can't do it with a sweep and there is no other option so i have to do it with a loft okay so let's try the loft why try because uh, of course i did it before and there's some kind of strange thing going on with that loft let's see so i want to use the edges of those surfaces and should be surface and you have to activate merge tangent faces otherwise it will not work that's strange but that's the important thing so let's start to select those edges then go click add and select these edges and it works great and now let's change those conditions let's go for tangency it works and go for tangency it works and now you could change the weight which means you con could control how long this stays at that angle but i think it looks quite good so i will just confirm it hide this one that would be surface 764 no six and make this one not translucent great and now let's stitch it together this one and that one apply and i'm done and again make it not translucent so hope it was helpful hope you enjoyed it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook cafe page would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye